All right. Uh, so recently, there's been a, a number of articles popping up on the internet uh, claiming to challenge the out of Africa hypothesis. And uh, while I might be a bit late uh, to the party here, uh, I figured I'd uh, throw my hat in the ring, to, uh, so to speak. Um, so uh, first, we have to understand what is meant by the out of Africa hypothesis. Uh, the out of Africa uh, hypothesis, uh, simply put, is that more than humans. Uh, that being the species Homo sapiens, uh, originated in Africa uh, 100,000 to 200,000 years ago and uh, migrated out of Africa with only minor uh, influence from uh, hominid species in the regions of the world that were uh, migrated to during the uh, Homo sapien colonization of the world. Uh, this is called the uh, replacement hypothesis, which go goes hand in hand with the out of Africa hypothesis. Um, there are two different types of hypothesis that are proposed by people who are citing uh, these articles of kind. Uh, the first is the multi-regional hypothesis. And uh, this is the idea that humans uh, in different uh, regions of the world uh, developed from the different hominid groups that were already present uh, in these regions. Um, uh, this can be uh, Homo erectus in Asia, or uh, Homo neanderthalensis, or Homo heidelbergensis in Europe. Or it can be stated that this is uh, multiple different types of um, uh, of Homo erectus, um, or in Africa, Homo egaster, which is essentially the African version. Um, this can be sort of taken to an extreme, um, which is called the uh, the polygenism theory, and uh, this states that humans in different regions uh, evolved uh, from entire, uh, from entirely independent species. And uh, that different groups of humans are, uh, in fact, uh, a, a different species to each other, which is, of course, uh, entirely ridiculous. Uh, so uh, the other point, uh, which people have used these articles to back up, uh, is the idea of the sort of Eurocentric theory, which um, generally doesn't have backing in science, and I've had, kind of had to uh, come up with a word for it, which is why I'm calling it the, uh, the Eurocentric theory. And uh, unlike the... Uh, the multi-regional hypothesis and the out-of-Africa hypothesis. Uh, the Eurocentric theory um, states that humans evolved in Europe and have migrated from there, that being that uh, anatomically modern uh, Homo sapiens, or uh, Homo sapiens sapiens, if you want to call that, uh, have uh, originated in Europe and migrated from there. So in this video, I uh, hope to explain uh, why the out-of-Africa hypothesis is uh, likely correct and uh, why the evidence is uh, currently available points to this. Uh, so first there is uh, genetic evidence. Uh, haplogroups are uh, markers, uh, either in the uh, linear chromosomes in the nucleus or on the, uh, the circular ones in the mitochondria, and of, of course uh, in, in plants in the chloroplast, but that's not really relevant at all. Um, and uh, these can be used to track human migration. Uh, this is because um, uh, mutations in the DNA uh, can be used to uh, track specific populations and subpopulations and uh, the interrelatedness of uh, said populations and subpopulations. Um, the commonly used haplogroups here are the Y chromosome, which is used to trace the male lineage of a person, as it is always passed from uh, father to son, and the mitochondrial haplogroups, because they are always passed on to the mother to the child, and obviously the male child won't, uh, won't pass on the mitochondria. Um, so it's um, uh, it's worth tracking the female line, and uh, the the uh, basal uh, the basal haplogroup for a mitochondrial DNA can be determined as a haplogroup called L zero, uh, and there's also a derivation of this called L one, which are uh, common haplog uh, haplogroups found uh, in sub-Saharan Africa. Um, particularly importantly, in the the Khoisan peoples, we'll be coming back to them later. Um, for, for some strange reason, uh, L1 um, and L0 uh, are also found in uh, non-trivial quantities in Yemen, although this is probably due to uh, intermarriage with the uh, people from the nearby Horn of Africa, sort of uh, Ethiopia, Somalia, Djibouti, Eritrea, that sort of place. And uh, furthermore, uh, mitochondrial leave, which is the, um, the name for the last common mitochondrial ancestor of all modern humans, uh, probably lived in East Africa uh, 100,000 to 200,000 years ago. And uh, this can be, uh, this information can be derived through genetic analysis of the mitochondria. Um, so we can see that humans have a, a common female ancestor living in um, 
in East Africa that we are all related to. Uh, furthermore, uh, the, the other, uh, in the other easily traceable haplogroup, that being those uh, present on the Y chromosome, or, or that being the, the haplogroups of the Y chromosome, the basal haplogroup uh, can be identified as haplogroup A. And uh, this originated in Sub-Saharan Africa as well. And uh, today is present uh, across Sub-Saharan Africa, uh, with particular concentrations in Ethiopia, which is generally speaking where it's thought that uh, humans originated in the out African hypothesis. Uh, although this is questioned somewhat, people, people think they originated in the Rift Valley. And uh, the Rift Valley goes through a number of countries, including uh, Ethiopia, Kenya, uh, the Congo, uh, like the northern part of, uh, of the Congo, and uh, I think Tanzania. And um, the, 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 the concentrations are, are particularly present in Ethiopia, and again, also in the Khoisan peoples. Uh, y chromosome, uh, the Y chromosome Adam, uh, being the last, the last male common ancestor uh, of uh, of humans, is thought to have lived uh, actually in West Africa, in uh, uh, possibly in Cameroon, uh, about um, uh, about uh, two hundred thousand years ago. Uh, although um, people aren't entirely sure on the location, and it might be in Ethiopia as well. But um, it, the last male common ancestor of humans is definitely in Sub-Saharan Africa. Um, furthermore, uh, due to the the founder uh, the founder effect, populations that are descended from uh, from people who migrate away from the original population will have a lower genetic diversity than the original population. Uh, if the multi-regional hypothesis uh, was correct, you'd expect to uh, find a similar spread of genetic diversity across multiple regions, um, or or at the very least pockets of genetic diversity across multiple regions. Uh, if the Eurocentric hypothesis was correct, we would expect to find uh, the highest rates of genetic diversity within Europe. Uh, however, of course, the highest rates of genetic diversity are found in Sub-Saharan Africa, particularly again the Khoisan peoples, who are the most uh, genetically diverse uh, uh, people group in the world. Um, in addition, while this is slightly more controversial, there is evidence of a genetic bottleneck. Um, uh, in, in, in humans, and uh, this is seen with humans having a very low genetic diversity uh, relative to other species. Um, it is estimated this occurred about 70,000 years ago, and uh, there's some evidence that this is uh, contemporary with a volcanic eruption which happened during this time, but again, people are not entirely sure about this. Um, but the thing is that if there is a genetic bottleneck, um, which there probably was, just the cause isn't quite known, humans have to have been uh, essentially one population this time. Possibly slightly more spread out. Um, there thoughts that there could have been humans in Yemen at this point. Um, there are uh, human fossils uh, in Israel, uh, which are up to 100,000 years old. Uh, however, people aren't sure about this. But uh, uh, basically, um, uh, by, um, uh, by about 70,000 years ago, humans have to be in a compact enough geographical position that a genetic bottleneck was possible, which really wouldn't have been the case if we're talking about the multi-regional hypothesis here. Uh, so, uh, furthermore, uh, Neanderthal DNA is found in, in many Eurasians, uh, particularly Europeans, and it's not found in Africans at all. And uh, this shows that um, uh, that Africans cannot be the uh, the sort of descendants of, uh, of Europeans in the Eurocentric uh, migration theory. Because uh, should that be the case, then um, uh, then uh, Africans, uh, actually uh, North Africans do uh, have um, Neanderthal DNA, but um, you'd expect Sub-Saharan Africans uh, to exhibit uh, Neanderthal DNA, which is not the case. Um, uh, additionally, um, what, what's called a Denisovan DNA is found in uh, in the uh, Melanesian peoples, um, and it's thought that the um, uh, the Denisovans were um, inhabitants of kind of like Central Asia and possibly down into South Asia, uh, which is interesting. Also, again, kind of irrelevant because uh, no one, at least that I've seen, is arguing for a a, a central uh, southern or Melanesian origin of people. Um, but again, um, while there is uh, 
while this next piece of evidence is slightly less concrete, um, many linguists argue that the languages of the Khoisan people again uh, exhibit many elements that are basal in all human languages and have been lost from other languages. And uh, some languages such as the um, uh, the click noises which are made in, uh, in Khoisan languages uh, are thought to be um, uh, basal in human language. However, again, this is um, this is kind of questionable, and uh, I wasn't able to find that many reputable that that many uh, reputable people making this argument. Uh, also, uh, in addition, while uh, while many ancient hominids have been found uh, outside of Africa, uh, such as uh, Homo erectus, which was mostly found pretty much throughout Asia, uh, Homo heidelbergensis, which was mostly found in uh, in Europe, with uh, um, uh, some versions of Homo heidelbergensis, uh, called Homo reduciensis, found in Africa. Uh, Homo neanderthalis, which was found in, um, also known as uh, Neanderthal, uh, which was found in uh, in the Middle East and in Europe. And uh, Denisovans, which, again, as I said before, were found in sort of... Um, there's limited evidence of where actually Den Denisovans were, because uh, if I remember correctly, there are only... Uh, uh, two fossils of Denisovans, both of which are um, pretty much entirely incomplete. There's like maybe there's basically like sort of five Denisovan bones, I think a tooth which have been found. Um, but this thought that, that we know they existed from the genetic evidence. Um, but it's thought that these people were were in um, uh, Central Asia, uh, Southern Asia, possibly Indochina, uh, that sort of place. But the thing is that uh, archaic Homo sapien fossils and uh, tools associated with uh, archaic Homo sapiens and uh, early modern Homo sapiens uh, appear uh, pretty much in a pattern indicative of a, a migration from a single East African source uh, around 100,000 years ago, which is, again, what is uh, thought by the, the out-of-Africa hypothesis and supported by the genetic evidence. Uh, so from this evidence, it would appear uh, reasonable to conclude um, uh, what is at this point mostly the scientific consensus, which is that uh, uh, from the uh, which is um, the evolution uh, of humans from a, a single population in East Africa, um, which began migration sometime after 100,000 years ago. Uh, furthermore, it seems um, with a relative degree of accuracy that the Khoisan people of Southern Africa uh, are the closest thing uh, that is left to the ancestral population of humans. Uh, some anthropologists, uh, such as uh, Carlton Kuhn, uh, argue that as recently as 8,000 years ago, uh, the Khoisan people had a, a much wider range uh, than they do today, uh, extending uh, as far north as uh, the modern Sudan. Uh, however, this is, uh, again, uh, another story. And if that, if that was true, it would uh, help explain significantly why the, the, uh, the Khoisan people who currently live so far from um, the suspected origin of, uh, of humans uh, why they have uh, many indicators pointing to them being uh, the direct descendants of the basal human population. Uh, so the question is, um, uh, in face of all the sort of overwhelming evidence of the out of Africa hypothesis, uh, what is this article, what, what, what have uh, these articles been saying? Um, surely if it contradicts the, the out of Africa hypothesis, it must have uh, some pretty compelling evidence, right? Uh, well, basically, it involves the recategorization of a 7.2 million year old fossil. Uh, I should repeat that this is dealing with a 7.2 million year old fossil. Uh, the Atomic Hypothesis really only kicks in at its earliest, about 250,000 years ago, uh, which means that, uh, 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 which is when the, uh, the first properly anatomically modern humans uh, begin to appear. And so this is already looking sketchy. But if you look at what the, the researchers are actually saying, they're saying that the, uh, what is called the human chimp split uh, may have occurred in the, the Mediterranean or Southern Europe. They're not sure, but they, they think that the, the, the fossils which were found originally in the 1940s, uh, which, called, uh, which are, are now being called by these researchers, Gregopithecus, uh, that these fossils are more closely related to, uh, to the very earliest ancestors of... Um, uh, of humans than they, than they were originally thought to be, and therefore it is possible that the 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 very earliest ancestors of humans, um, sort of the um, things which are essentially still great apes, 
may have split from chimps somewhere in the Mediterranean, possibly in southern Europe. Uh, however, um, this is this is particularly important, um, and it's 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 interesting to know, but it's not really relevant to what is thought of as the the Outer Africa hypothesis or uh, the um, recent African origin of modern humans, basically, um, because it's it's. Uh, seven million years too old, essentially. Uh, if this were to be the case, humans, uh, the the line which is now humans, would have originated in uh, North Africa or somewhere around the Mediterranean or Southern Europe, and then migrated back into Africa, where uh, where humans evolved. Uh, so uh, yeah, thank you for listening, and I hope that's uh, cleared a bunch of stuff up.